OMG, I can't believe I hit a two times bodyweight squat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video, I just want to talk about my new upload schedule. So from now on, I will be uploading my powerlifting vlogs on Friday, my covers on Sunday. And this is just based off of my analytics and seeing what time my audience is on YouTube. So yeah, that's my new upload schedule. I will hope we try to stick with it, but if it doesn't work out, I'll let you guys know and make changes to it. And before we get into the main content for this video, First, I want to talk about the lifts I did in the past few days. So on Tuesday, I did a RP7-ish squat single at 240, which is basically my previous max. Also, on Wednesday, I hit a 140 bench for two singles. And yeah, those are my lifts from the past few days. Today is Friday and I'm about to head to the gym. And today is a big day because hopefully I can hit a squat PR. I'm aiming for 250. So yeah, cross my fingers, I'm gonna get that. Don't forget to like the video if you do. Comment down below what you wanna see next and subscribe so you don't miss another video.
I totally did not expect me to hit 260 as my squat single today. So my previous PR was 241 and I hit that in December. and I failed that so yeah it's been a really long time since I hit something high on squats especially since I did lose a bit of strength in the three weeks without a home gym so it took a while for me to get that back up but now I'm finally at 260 so right after I came home I weighed myself and I weighed myself with clothes and I weighed 129 pounds which is like the bottom of what I usually weigh. I fluctuate between 128 and 131 usually. So that would put me in a 63 kg weight class and I'm on the lower end of that. But anyway, I weighed in at 129. So it's officially over two times body weight. That was one of my big 2020 goals and I'm surprised I hit it that early. On today's program, it was supposed to be RP89 singles. So 250 moved at an RP8, a little under than an RP8. So I was like, why not just go for the 260 because it's going to be RP9 and because I was hitting singles today that's why I went to the gym instead of lifting at home even though I like squatting at home I didn't want to ask my parents to spot me for such a heavy load because I'm not sure if I'm going to get it up or not because usually I squat without a spot because if it's rep work I can usually gauge it by the number of reps so yeah that's why I squatted in LA Fitness today because I had the racks next to me to save me from dying basically also i just want to talk about form breakdown and like hitting prs and all that stuff so as you can tell from my 260 squat my form wasn't good i felt my lower back doing more work than it should and i think that's because i haven't deadlifted in three or so months in the past when I hit squat PRs, my back will arch this way a little and it will be totally fine because my lower back was super strong from deadlifts. But since I haven't been deadlifting for so long, my lower back is not as strong as my other muscles. So that's why I felt like I was using my lower back on my PR. And a good thing about hitting such high RPEs is that you can figure out which muscle group you're weak in. So for example, my quads and my glutes and my abs weren't tired after that squat PR, but my lower back was. So that just gives me a signal that I should train my lower back more and focus on that to build that up. And that's the beauty of hitting high RPEs is that you know what to work on from now on. And also, I just wanna say that every single body is different. So there's no cookie cutter answer to lifting or most things in life. For example, my coach, posted on his Instagram story a few weeks ago saying that when he squats really heavy, he rounds his lower back a little and it actually makes him move the weight faster, but it does cause him to be sore the next day, which would count as a missed groove, but is it really a missed groove if it moves faster? So yeah, that's basically the message of today is that something that might be considered bad form to an extent can actually help a person and that's because everyone's different but i do need to work on my lower back and i will be talking to my coach about that anyway i'm so happy with what i hit today and even though it's not 100 percent at depth i still hit it and it's pretty close to depth so i'm taking it as a gym pr anyway i am about to film my cover for this week which will be up before this video is up and yeah, tomorrow I'll be heading back to the gym for deadlifts. Hey guys, today is Saturday and I just came back home from the gym. And oh my god, the gym is so freaking hot. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but they're not turning up the AC high enough. But anyway, this week is the third week of me getting back into deadlifting. And last week I did 210 for triples and I felt it was RP8-ish. And my coach was like, that does not look RP8. The thing about not training for a while and going back to it is that your muscle memory is still there. So like, it looks super fast, but it feels hard on my end. So today I did 225, which is two plates for three by three. <laughs>
The last set felt like RP 8.5, but it looked like an RP 7-ish, which I'm still getting used to deadlifting again. And like, plus I have to tweak a little bit of my form and all that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. I forgot to mention that I did find a meet. It's on September 12th in Wisconsin. And I'll put the name right here because I forgot the name. But yeah, I'll be doing that. I think I'm taking a deal next week. And then after that, we're prepping for the meet. But anyway, I'm so happy with my squat PR. Squatting two times body weight was definitely a big milestone for me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.